Uh, hello there everybody. So this is the second part of the waterfall video. This um, is me pouring the water in the first part. Uh, thank you for the comments. Lots of you guys said that uh, those things look, those where the water's coming down looks like um, koi fishtails. So, but I did a lot of carving on the face today where I'm pouring. This is a earlier video. I carved basically all those lines off those things. I don't know, it just wasn't working for me. And the, uh, the eye on the right kind of was not working for me too. So I did a lot of carving off screen just to uh, get it done. You know, when I'm making the YouTube videos, it slows down the carving and you got to spend time moving your camera, make sure it's filming, make sure your microphone's working. So the water, I, I carved deeper the water trails too. So you'll see at the end of the video here that there's no it's over splashing because like I said in the first video I do not want to make a waterfall that the water splashes out of the waterfall and you got to keep on filling it up I don't know I think it just looks like a little baby fetus there or something so I carved the back out like you can see all the rot there so like I say later in the video my buddy Stuart's gonna help me uh, he's a torch on roofer so he's gonna put some torch on and all the rot up here I'm super lucky I didn't carve through I knew that rot was back there, but um, I got that's terrible to, to to hog out wood like that without a gouge. But anyways, I got it done. So that's part that part's done. You can see how deep the rot is there, and I carved the Japanese wind or water lines, whatever you want them to be. Carving fusion lines, they can be whatever you want them to be. There's one there. Um, there's another one there. You can't really see it. So I'm much happier with that. I know this piece looks creepy. I'm trying to try my best to think outside the box with this piece. The right eye, I can see I got to lower it there. I carved that uh, eye hollow in there. I'll show you later. But um, it's far from finished. I got a vision like I'm going to paint the inside. I'm also, like I say in the later in the video, I'm going to carve koi fish on the uh, outside and put some maple leaves on it and maybe some waves too. So it's just, you know, you, you, you're you never done the piece until you've almost carved through. And I definitely don't want to carve through on this one. So you can see there, I want to talk about this helmet too. I think each video should have like a, a purpose. This trend helmet is the best purchase I've made to do with anything with carving. Okay, it's in my Amazon store. Trend does not know about me. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not trying to get you to buy one off my Amazon store, but if you do want to see it, it's there. Um, it's the best purchase that I've made. I love it. There's another one called, like uh, my buddy Chris Gradge has it, and Ryan Cook has it. It's called the Air Cap. And there's also more expensive ones. This one's about 400 Canadian dollars, but I'm telling you, see, there's the filters. So it pushes air in. And makes it so the screen, the shield, the face shield doesn't fog up. It's the best investment I've made. If I got to buy one, a new one of these every year, I'll do it. I don't care. It's well worth it. It doesn't, uh, I don't taste sawdust. I don't suck it in. And um, it's just awesome. Okay, so. Uh, let me have a sip of my cream soda. Ah, crushed cream soda. I spent about another two hours recarving uh, re this today. I don't have much time to work. I got to go to a wedding tomorrow. So, but um, let me suck my belly in so it doesn't stick out. I hate that. When I'm doing my editing, I see my fat gut hang out. Anyways, I recarved the um, Japanese wind lines in here. Made it more like a carving fusion piece. Um, you know, so I just want to say to the very beginners, you don't have to. Your piece is never done until you think it's done. You know, it's good to find some a like-minded person that you, you can become good friends with and you value their opinion. Like, for example, um, I got just, just Carve Rob's my go-to guy. I talk to Larry Dibbs lots and Skipper a lot too and all my other friends, online friends. Um, but I always value just carve Rob's opinion because if he does something that looks weird well I'll tell him it looks weird and if I do something that looks weird 
he'll tell me. So I asked him this morning, I said, I wasn't going to carve at all today. I asked him this morning, I said, just, what do you think just carved, Rob? He goes, you know, he goes, I, I, I kind of don't get it. He goes, so far it's not my favorite. He goes, but I know you're just starting the piece. So he goes, I know you're going to move lots of things around, do lots of different things. And then after he watched the videos, he understood what was happening more with these lines. So this is far from done. So like what I was saying, sorry, I know I get sidetracked. You know, find somebody, a like-minded person that you can ask their honest opinion. Because they might see something that you don't see in the piece, right? Um, does that make sense? And then if they say it looks like a fish when it's supposed to be a, a camel, well, then... If you think it looks like a camel, keep it. But if you th if you can see what he sees by it being a fish, well then change it, make it a camel, so so you don't see the fish in the camel. That makes sense. Um, so there's st I kind of carved this, so it's all like decaying rot in here. I'm not sure if water's still going to come out of this eye too. It's just I hollowed this eye out, and it's going to come down here. I got we're going to do a water test. I still got to carve all the outside of this whole piece. Like I said, it's six foot tall. I know I'm not going to be in screen, but it's six foot tall. And also, in the back of it, because of the rot, I showed a little clip of it. I'm going to have to get my buddy Stu, if you watch this, to come and do some torch on roofing in there to make it so it's a nice solid pool, leak proof and stuff like that. So, you know, just... And who wants to be like every other artist? I don't follow too many... Um, wood carvers i know we got the group carving fusion world of wood carvers on facebook um hi all at the admins claire chris spike everybody we got uh chainsaw carving uh chainsaw carving and fusion with steve kanzora and um robbie woolner the admins on that but i don't really follow too much people's um stuff because i just i just really don't care what everybody else is carving and it's just like a, you know I'm an uh, average carver, but those old people, like hundreds and hundreds of years ago, do you think they cared what other people were doing? Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But I, for myself, I just don't uh, care. I got a, I got maybe five artists that I follow, five carvers that I follow, that um, I love their style. And yeah, if I can copy something they do, well, get an idea from it, I will. And... Um, I'm not a realism carver. I'm not good enough. I think to be a realism carver, you need to be a. You need to. If you if you want to if you want to friggin' carve. Okay, so example here. Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying. I'll just quiet. I can't draw worth a shit, so I can't carve real things worth a shit too. I'm not putting myself down. Lots of you guys say, Jordy, you need to stop putting yourself down. I'm just honest. I just say it as it is. I don't. I got nothing to hide. I got nothing to try and pretend I don't try and pretend that I'm better than I am I just I'm a fat guy having a good time with a hole in his head right so I guess I'll stop rambling but I thought I'd make this video for you guys this weekend and I hope you guys are all gonna have a good weekend getting out we've got uh, sun getting out enjoying the sunshine and I'm um, having a good time so let's do this water test it's uh, gonna pour out a little bit quicker is this thing even filming don't tell me I gotta redo this thing again Okay, so let's do this. So pretend it would be coming out this eye. That's just perfect. You can get her going a bit more. And by the way, when I started this piece, I wanted to do like a, a native face, kind of not like the native man face, but like kind of a totem pole face. Look at that, that's, that's awesome. Send it, send it. <laughs> you guys see that fat guy? Send it, okay. So there you go. It's all. I gotta get to talk to Stewart about getting the torch on in here. 
I am far from done this piece. You know what I might even carve? I might even carve some maple leaves on the outside here. Love to hear you guys' opinions. Have a good weekend. See you later. Card Infusion. Over and out. Don't shoot your pants.